Hello everybody, my name is Hans and I've come across this question a few times on the internet which really made me go, hmm, what? That's really a question? But yes, people have genuinely asked, is it okay to copy code from Stack Overflow at work? Or, got another variation, should I tell my boss that I copy code from Stack Overflow? And there are people who actually say yes. Uh, have a look at this guy. He says, yes, copy, do what you want. But when you are a cheat, you are one. So this guy thinks that it's cheating. Um, let, let me ask you a few questions. First, do you think your boss will pay you more if you uh, came up with all the algorithms yourself? You, you, didn't, you didn't copy anything from anybody. You think the boss would pay you more for that? Um, do you think the boss would pay you more for that if you took it if it took you days longer to get something done than you otherwise would have? Or um, let's ask a different question. I, I don't work for I don't have a boss. I have my own company. Would end customers pay me more if they knew that my software was completely original? Like nothing copied from any, anywhere else. It took me three times as long to do as, as if I'd asked other people for help. Do you think people would pay me more? I um, hope you realize the answer to both of those is no. Uh, likewise, is there a problem with asking your colleagues for help? Like, hey, I don't know how to do this or I'm unsure what the best method is. So what, what do you think? Of course not. Well, Stack Overflow is basically like a gigantic global group of colleagues who you can ask questions to and who give answers, right? We work for different companies, but uh, it's the same, same principle. So yes, of course it's okay to copy code from Stack Overflow. It's called being efficient. It's called helping each other out. But, and, and this is a big but, I would highly advise you not to blindly copy. And, and the reason for that is, a lot of the code is actually put together to, to demonstrate the principle or to answer your question. And that means they've just put the bare minimum in there that's needed and, and it might not even be tested. So stuff like null pointer checks or checking that the inputs, uh, especially when you're dealing with databases, checking that the inputs have been sanitized and protected against SQL injection attacks. Those won't have been done. So. Uh, you blindly copy and paste at your own peril. You still need to understand what the code does and, and make it your own. But yeah, really, uh, if, if, if anybody's really asking that question, you need to unlearn something that you learned at school. And at school, they don't want you copying each other's answers. They don't want you working together because they want you to demonstrate that you, yes, you yourself are able to do something. Right? But out in the workforce, you're paid to create results and you're supposed to collaborate. You're supposed to work together. And to be honest, very rarely, it's very rare to get a genuinely new idea. I, new ideas are usually taking ideas from different places and recombining them in a new way. Right? New ideas are built on old ideas. They're, they're not, they don't just come out of the blue completely new. So anyway, I thought I, this was worth uh, answering because if you're asking that question, you really need to unlearn, unlearn the copying is cheating and just ask yourself those quick questions like, would the boss be happy with me? wasting a lot of time trying to come up with my own way of doing things that the industry has already figured out. Right? Um, so, yeah, that, that's it for this week. I hope, um, well, actually, I hope you just knew that knew already that, yes, it's okay to work with other, with other people, including online via Stack Overflow, but if you didn't, hope this was useful. Uh, you want to see more like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.